How's it going everybody? In today's video I'm going to show you how to mount your Laverne style brush guard onto your Humvee. Um, but there's a twist. So we're mounting it on a Humvee with a worn electric winch on it. And normally the Laverne style um, um, brush guard doesn't fit on those Humvees with the winch on it. Or I haven't really seen any with them on it. And I couldn't figure out a way how to mount it. But um, I actually found a link to some website where some guy actually modified the Laverne style brush guard to fit. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and also link the, um, the website that I found that on just so you guys can see um, how that guy did it as well. And uh, hopefully it looked good when we're done. So let's get to it guys. Alright so we're mounting it on my slant back Humvee. You can see how it has the worn electric winch with the longer uh, winch plate, I guess. Um, so normally, to mount this, if you wanted to keep the original legs and all that, it would have to go out here. And that's so far away from the front of the Humvee, I feel like it sticks out so far, it just looks bad. So um, what I've seen done is they'll actually cut this mount right here, and they'll move it out to the side. So I have this side cut off currently. So you can see I cut it exactly where it, they welded it to the actual frame of the brush guard and eventually um, this is gonna go like about right here where this box is right on the these mounts. Um, so Next thing, I'm going to cut this side off, and then we'll figure out a, uh, an equal measurement to extend these out so it'll be even on the front of the Humvee. But it's going to look really cool. I love these style brush guards, and I can't wait to get it on. Uh, currently, I'm in the process of swapping the hood on this one because my old hood was all cracked, and I had this spare hood that one of my friends gave to me, which was really nice of them. And then uh, pretty soon we're going to be painting this whole thing. I'm thinking about going like solid OD green, just the dark green, and then some black accents like black rims, black brush guard, mirrors, you know what I mean. So that should be pretty cool. So let's get cutting this and then we'll find out that even measurement and then uh, start setting it up. Alright, so now that I have the mounts to the brush guard cut off, we could put it on top of the, um, the actual winch box and just set it up there, try to get an idea of where we're going to re-weld the mounts, and then we'll start measuring some stuff.
All right, so we got the first bracket pretty much uh, set up. It's gonna go right about here. I'm just gonna find the center line of that and match it up to this center line that I made. Um, we made a nice little little bevel right there. So we can weld it nice. See right there. And then it sits nice and square. Both sides. It should be good. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Match its center line up with this. How I got the center line is I took the center line of this whole brush guard, found it right there, and then I took the center line from this hole to the holes that go right, right behind here, and then I also found the center line of that. Um, each one of these holes is about 16 inches off the side. So I measured 16 inches, found the center line of this one, and then uh, just line it all up. I'm gonna tack weld it, and then put it on there, just make sure everything looks good. And then uh, we're gonna send it. Okay, so I was just uh, looking around trying to visualize everything for a minute. So, I think this is a pretty good height. I just have this, what is it, like a one inch, one inch board. So about one and a half inch. One and a half inch board. Um, I just need to make everything all straight. Make sure it all lines up pretty good. I think it looks good from the inside too. I mean, not that that really matters, but it's kind of cool having that. Being able to see that in front of you. Like I said, not that really matters. Um, so, right now I'm just trying to figure out how to measure these brackets and make sure everything is perfectly level. So I'm gonna figure out how to measure all that and then I will get back to recording and explain how I came to my conclusion. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go make a second little mount, cut it out of this little L-beam that I have. 
and then uh, I guess try to replicate both the mounts, make them exactly the same, and then see how we're going to mount them on here. Alrighty, so I have the brush guard all mounted. It's the correct height everywhere around. Uh, it's all even, and it looks really good. So on my mounts, pretty much just have this little angle iron, and not iron, but steel. Just a little angled piece of steel. And I'm gonna put some gussets right here, just to strengthen it up a bit. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But I think it looks awesome. So I'm just going to finish up welding it. My little Hobart. And uh, should come out pretty good. So let's get this welded up. And then uh, there's a couple things we have to cut. As you can see, I need to cut a little triangle off of the mounts. Like this actual mount part. Just so when the uh, brush guard hinges forward. It has a little bit of clearance and won't get caught on the corner of the mount. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm just gonna weld it first, and then we'll uh, cut it up and see see what's going on. All right. So first off, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go grind off some of the area around the uh, the area I'm gonna be welding, just so it's you know a nice strong weld and uh, there's no contamination. So I'm gonna go grind that down and then and then get to welding. 